Hello and welcome to the latest update we have Minecraft now in and yeah we made it we made what like 24 episodes so yeah and I finished the house and finished let me actually show you what I did so I spent a lot of time and you can guess what I was working on so you know how I wanted to connect the old world and the new world? Well, let's say old, new and whatever. So let me just show you. Ta-da! It's a railway system. Well, one-way system to the old world. So let's enjoy a ride. And we made it, so as you can see, it was quite right, like, using the sped up version, but the actual version is like, 5 minutes long or something like that, okay, not 5 minutes, but around 3 minutes. So yeah, let me show you what I done around the old house. So as you can see, we brought a pigman home, not by, like, any means. Enchanting is still the same, but we got updated villagers now, and as you can see, I gave this guy a lecture, and... He got, no, this guy, he got efficiency, what? It was efficiency 5 bug, what are you, on what kind of drugs are you? Okay, you call me crazy, but he sold efficiency 5, I have, I don't have a proof, but Okay, did any of you change trades? No, you still suck, but this guy really done me good Oh, hello there. And as you can see, we got ourselves a stone cutter over here, which I plan on building a huge castle in the other world, or the new world. And yeah, pretty much everything I put up a fence is because we have pillagers now. But I won't be here, but I still want to have this protected. As you can see, we connected this hallway, we made this hallway. As you can see, we connected the house. And there's the chunk that's gone wrong, so yeah. And yeah, that's all there is to this house. And we also got this Christmas tree, or some sort. So yeah, that's my brother's build. I mean, eh, it can be good. And I did some fixing on the caves, like, you don't see so much caves anymore. Like, I don't want to cover all of this, but over here, it was pretty ugly. So yeah. Now, you may be wondering, what are we gonna do today, today, <laughs> today, or from now on, since this is the last version that we currently have. Well, the series ends, but doesn't end here, because I have in plan, and that plan is what I mentioned in the last episode, and that is, every new episode, we add, let's say, one new mod to the mix, and see how far we can break our game, like, this is only the beginning, like, that chunk over there and, you know, everything that's happening over here and adding new mods, new items, dimensions, and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's do, I don't know, what we do. Anyways, let's go and do something. But anyways, that's the plan for the future, so if you are for up to go with me on this adventure, you know what to do, subscribe. But anyways, let's continue with the episode and do something meaningful. So as you can see over here, let me just show you, I kind of took a lot of sand from this desert for the nether portal, portal thingy. And oh, there's an anvil I forgot, so let's take it. Because I used it to, you know, get my shovels up and whatnot, so yeah. And only today I realized, like, I'm still a new Elytra user. That you can like fly up from one block high. Let me just show you. Come on. I'm sorry if you hear a lot of space. Yeah, this looks like an. Come on. Okay, yeah, that's that. You can fly up from one block high. I never knew that. Because I'm a new Elytra user. I'm an old school Minecraft player. Anyways, what I wanted to show you is not this village, like those guys now have professions. But I had an idea of building something in this place. But the thing I'm scared of 
is as you can see this is a pretty flat area and it wouldn't be that hard to flat out but the thing I'm scared of is well the new world updates and whatever not breaking this place because I want to make a redstone farm of some sort but if that means that it would get broken or you know destroyed by the world updates that wouldn't be good but we have a plan to make something over here I just need resources and if it gets deleted it gets de <laughs> it gets deleted it's in the video so it's on the internet forever anyways also no I won't be recording me building something out of redstone because I'm like I have zero knowledge about redstone I'm gonna use YouTube 100% and Wikipedia and all those things because you think I know how to create something in redstone? I struggle with basic things like flying with elytra. I mean yes I'm playing Minecraft for 9 years now but redstone? Yeah I don't think I had a use of it on you know faction pvp servers and I didn't do a lot of stuff with redstone but I played a lot also, also a lot of modded Minecraft like Techit so I always had alternatives to redstone but we are for now doing vanilla minecraft and from the next episode we will be adding mods one by one or maybe in batch of like one two three mods or something like that because one mod every episode is kind of little but two mods it's something more but three mods might crash the game so we will see anyways let's go building well you won't see that actually i came to conclusion that i have a problem i don't know what i want to be <laughs> well build for the redstone farm because I always build, you know, static buildings like castles, houses, towns and whatnot. I build one redstone gate on one server and that's all. One redstone gate. No, two redstone gates. Because I had to build them in different, you know, orientations. Hmm. So how about we try and make something simple like melon farm. Automatic melon farm. Yeah, that should sound interesting. So let's do it. I can't believe it, the pink sheep, he's back, he's back, hello pink sheep, oh nice, we got a pink sheep like, that's really a rare chance to spawn, we got your brother, well, a part of him in our base, do you want to join him? I guess no. <laughs> single idea what am I doing and there's mobs everywhere so not one thing is good about what I had in mind so what I'm thinking maybe it's better for me to go kill ender dragon or no for the end let's kill wither yeah let's go farm wither because making automatic farms for me is no go so let me just show you what I had in my mind so as you can see this is a farm melon farm so this is a block of water and water flows down there so the melons would go you know you see that way right but the problem here is oh fuck that I wanted observers to observe when the melon grows and when they observe they push a piston up or something and it breaks the melon now the problem is I don't know how to use those things and pistons would be need to be like from the side if I'm correct so you know you can destroy the melon blocks so I have no idea what I'm doing so yeah let's go kill wither it's more enjoyable than watching this so after a long and painful grinding we finally got three wither schools so let's go kill this wither now let's go and let's do this let's do it deep underground because i don't want to deal with wither flying around destroying my land so here goes nothing okay what did i do wrong 
How do you make a wither? Does it need to be... Okay, that's not how you make a wither, what? Okay, that's still not how you make a wither. How do you make a wither? Okay, I need to go on the internet to see how do you make a wither. Okay, so I plopped the thread head and suddenly he appeared. So, yeah, I think we need this. I need this. And we need a bow. And where is the wither? Okay. Looks like we are killing him easily. Oh god, he's coming. Okay, 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 don't don't kill me. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh shit, shit. And we kill the wither. And we get another star. Amazing. So actually before we end this series, I had an amazing idea. So instead of, you know, just saying hey, end of the series and going off our ways or into the next series, what if I did something different? What if I showed you the map in spectator mode? Because I want to see what things I have missed, what I didn't, you know, those kind of things. So yeah, let's do that. F1, F5, and how do we do that? We need open to land, allow cheats, spawn, okay, and game mode, spectator. Oh, what am I doing? Yep, and now we are in spectator mode. So, what the spectator mode does is, well, let's us spectate around the world. And let's see. So, this is our house. And as you can see, let's see, what can we see? We have the farm. What did we... Oh god, that's my phone. Excuse me for that, you know, phone calls happen, the ringtones. We forget to turn them off, so let's see. So this is our spawner. And it's pretty simple, and it works. Then we have this spawner, and the double spawners we found. And look at this cave system, it's just chaotic. And I nearly explored it all. And yeah, and there's a spawner too. So, as you can see, there's a lot of spawners. There's this huge hallway I started building for no reason. And the strip mines, and where we fought the wither right now. And another spawner there I found. And this cave I didn't explore with a zombie in a leather armor. And this part of the cave somehow I didn't explore, even though it looks like I been through here and yeah even i wasn't even up here which is kind of weird because i was here so oh those are the caves that i got lost repeatedly over and over again so yeah and this was the best part okay this was not the best part but this is skeleton spawner as you can see inside of cave but the best part was this thing so you see i had a mine shaft Oh, this is the spawner I also plan to make, but no, we have a mine shaft over here, and where that mine shaft leads us, okay, I didn't find this ravine, or, or did I? I did. Where that mine shaft eventually leads us is into another spawner, plus into a stronghold. I was so amazing when I found this. Oh, and look at this, we didn't find this chest. Let's see what we missed. Come on. Oh, for iron and two bread, nothing special over there, but... The fact that this stronghold was under our nose this whole time is mind-boggling and I don't think I was in here, right? Was I? The maps and the books, nothing interesting. So yeah, those are the caves we didn't explore, there's a lot of to explore, but you know, there's not much to explore in Minecraft and this is where our end portal is. But other than that, when you find, you know, strongholds, dungeons, mineshafts, that's that. There's nothing more to explore in Minecraft, which kind of sucks, because... Yeah, you can build stuff, you can do stuff, but what for the people that want to explore? Like, I won't lie, I wanted to find a woodland mansion. And I did locate, and how is it, woodland, um, mansion. Now, watch this, the server, or my... Minecraft world 
legs a bit and see how far the like how far the woodland mansion is it's crazy imagine ever 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 like finding that like i was flying around you know doing normal stuff but there is no way i would ever found it look 21,688 blocks you know where that is neither do i but yeah but with that said that's all i wanted to do and yeah let's end those episodes with a firework that doesn't explode or do anything so thank you guys for joining in this minecraft new episode new version thingy and i really appreciate all of you watching liking videos sharing comments and all of those good stuff so i hope you're gonna stick in the next episodes we are going to make which is new mod or i'll still decide how that work every new episode or maybe every few episodes but other than that again thank you for watching staying in tuning whatever you do be sure to leave a like check out the before videos if you stumble upon this video first and you know all the good things anyways have a nice day and goodbye